Greetings folks, now that I have the DJI Digital FPV goggle system, FPV system, I can have a look at other cameras. This is the Cadex Vista Kit uh, Nebula Micro uh, Silver 12cm. It doesn't have the onboard recording like the uh, DJI Air unit, but it's a lot, a lot smaller and lighter, so uh, it would suit small uh, planes and drones, quads. Um, it does 720p, 60 frames a second, up to a distance of 4Ks, 8 channels, uh, and it has the embedded uh, remote control uh, receiver, same as the Air unit, so you can use it to with the controller to control the uh, the plane or the quad. All up weight 24 grams, uh, antennas 2.5 grams, minimum latency uh, end to end 32 milliseconds, maximum distance FCC 4Ks and CE version uh, 700 meters, uh, but converting it to the FCC version is, is ridiculously easy, so um, I think most people would do that. Input power 7.4 to 26.4 volts. Uh, power output, this is the FCC version, 25, 200, 500 and 700 milliwatts. There are quite a few different versions. Uh, the Australian version seems to have all the power levels but only four channels for some reason. Uh, the FCC version has all eight channels and all powers as well. Um, and I think you can update it to the higher power as well, maybe. 2.1 millimeter lens, f2.1. Uh, field of view, 150 degrees diagonal, 122 horizontal and 93 vertical. So let's open it up and have a look anyway. So we get a little instruction manual there. Here it is, nice and small compare it to the air unit gosh it's a third of the size probably only one antenna but that's going to be fine for a, a small quad compared to the two antennas there very good little micro size camera and the little unit very neat you can get a variety of different lengths of cable and different uh, color for the unit itself USB-C connection there we have a keypad here for setup I imagine and the connection cable here which has red for power black ground yellow is the RX white is the TX for connecting to the flight control board UART uh, Black is the signal ground, and yellow is the S bus signal to go to the flight control board. This is fully supported by DJI and licensed, so you do need to activate it using the DJI Assistant FPV version, uh, and you have to connect it or link it to the glasses by pushing a little, uh, there we go, little button there, that'll be what you push. You do need to solder on your cables onto the little unit down here pretty easy to do. I haven't put the S bus and ground on because I don't need that. Uh, I don't have the controller so I can't use that. Uh, but we have ground and the RX and TX. Uh, has a really neat little uh, cover for the antenna connector there. Now the camera is uh, just a normal FPV camera so of course we can do all the uh, normal adjustments. Brightness, contrast, Colour gain, all of that sort of stuff, day, night, white balance, language, camera reset, and exit. Uh, you can put the pilot name on there, uh, timer, voltage, all that sort of stuff. But you don't need that if you're going through a flight control board. Now to enable the OSD in iNav, you just have to go to the ports page, uh, select a UART, I think I'm on UART 5. Uh, and in peripherals you choose the DJI and then you sort of have to go to the OSD page and, and shuffle things around until they appear in the right spot on the screen. It doesn't really reflect what you see in the configurator. 
all the options are, are not available on the screen. So it's a bit of trial and error to work out which ones are there. Things like the home arrow doesn't appear, um, the vario bars, uh, anyway, just have to play around with all the options and uh, find what works. I'm going to connect it up to my flight control board here running INAV so I can get the uh, OSD running using the 9 volts and ground from the camera and uh, UART 5 RX and TX let's turn him on Don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. Should be able to see what's available on the OSD there. You don't get all the OSD options, but you get enough. You get uh, altitude, speed, current, voltage, uh, GPS, uh, all that sort of stuff. So that'll be pretty good. Fly time for the Cadex Vista Nebula Digital HD FPV system on my Ranger 1600 with INAV at my beautiful coastal location. Okay, we're in return to launch. I can take my time putting the Goggles on. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Let's go for a fly down the coast. Oh, wow. Oh, this is just amazing. And I've got the INAV H uh, OSD on, which you can't see. Oh, this is stunning. Try angle mode. Altitude hold. There we go. We'll just go for a flight. Wow, this is brilliant. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Oh, magic. So, yeah, you can't see what I'm seeing, but uh, I've got uh, 20 satellites, 98 RSSI, uh, altitude 63, 64, speed 38 kilometers an hour. Um, I've, got a, I've got the uh, triple feed patch on there, so I'm going to get ridiculous amounts of range. Don't know what power I'm on. I might only be on... Um, 25 milliwatt power. I'll have to check when I get back. Cruising at 4 amps. Let's come back home. Whoa. Boy, almost uh, need to sit down with this thing. It's so realistic. Unbelievable. Nice, misty, calm day. I am seeing modes, but they're sort of beta flight modes on the screen. This is angle mode, but it's called stab, I think. Acro mode, oh, angle, that was altitude hold. So uh, I mean, acro mode, and it's called acro mode. Angle mode is called stab. Altitude hold is called stab. So yeah, it's just showing that um, whenever it engages angle mode, which it does for the uh, um, navigation modes. We're up at 108 metres. Gosh, look at that view. This is stunning. It's my slope soaring site just below us there. Down there. I'm in altitude hold, so it's not obeying me. Here we go. So, yeah, southeasterly wind. I go off those dunes there. 
uh, Brimley Beach there or Bancora Surf Club. Good slope soaring all the way down there too. Breaking up a bit there. Alright, I'll come back and uh, I'll find out what um, power I'm on. Let's glide back home. There we go, we are down. Wow, that is amazing. So that was all on 25 milliwatts, so uh, range is not going to be a problem. Uh, I've boosted it up to 500 now. Wind's gone a bit offshore, so I better make sure I don't get washed out to sea. Oh, I see cyclists down there riding along the road. All right, that'll do it. I'll bring it back now. This is just amazing. I'm in return to home mode at the moment and it's reading RESC or RESC up on the um, mode readout. Got seagulls, mozzies everywhere. Nice landing, wow, absolutely stunning. <laughs>